So it was 2014, it was uh, November, sitting around Thanksgiving dinner table. And I was engaged in a conversation that uh, was revolving around probably one of the greatest events that I'd ever done in my life as far as a physical activity. And I was proud of that moment and I was explaining how hard it was because it was 10 miles through treachery. It was through rocks and through slippery slopes and mud and I had two ankle braces on from rolling my ankles and, and it was tough. As I was engaging in conversation, I, I was getting some feedback of, of my, my brother being real proud of me. He was proud and he said, man, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> that's great, dude. He said, so what's your next goal? What do you want to do after this? I said, well, I'm, I'm a runner. I'm, I'm going to go for 13 miles. That's what I want to do. That's, that's what I'm doing next. He said, dude, that's, that's great. So then what? Then what are you going to do? So kind of defensive, I said, again, I'm a runner. I'm, I'm going to go for the next, next mark. I'm going to go for what's next. I'm going to run a marathon. He said, whoa, <laughs> that's 26 miles. That's, that's a large goal to have. That's good. It's a good goal. But he started a series of questions that would, it would change me change life. He said, bro, I want to ask you something. If you go through all that running, you go through 26 miles, all that preparation, when you smash that goal, when you cross the finish line, he said, we're, we're going to be proud of you, all of us. We're going to be there for you. And I want you to celebrate with, with me. And I want you to go to the beach with me the next day. And you're too afraid to take your shirt off. Was it worth it? I still remember that question. I remember it well. I feel it like it was yesterday. For the first time in my life, I had to answer a question that was hard. As cliche as it might sound, it's one of those questions that it brought life back. It brought all the hurtful moments. All those hurtful moments and remembering stuff like always having to remember to tug at my shirt from my belly because I didn't want anybody else to see that my, my shirt would get stuck between the fat rolls. Stuff like always having to make sure my belt was just loose enough to not make the fat rolls hang over the sides but tight enough to where they didn't fall down because I surely didn't want that either. Other events like sitting beside the pool, getting a farmer's tan because there wasn't any way I was taking my shirt off, watching everybody dive in the pool, having fun. Different events like going to company events, standing in the corner, not really engaging in conversation with anybody, not really saying much, not feeling like I really was, you know, I had a place or had a role because I lacked confidence. See, those life, I mean, those life events were just kind of rolling in. And like I said, my life was flashing before my eyes. And at that point, I realized that I was a red-blooded American man sitting there with four kids and a wife, and up to that point in my life, I just hadn't been honest with myself. See, I had to make a choice at that point. I had to make a choice whether I was going to continue to live the lies that I had lived, making excuses and justifying the way that I was living. And I was a master of excuses. I don't need to do that. My wife is She's beautiful and she loves me and she, she doesn't want that from me. I don't, I don't need to get skinny. I look pretty good for how I am. I, I'm, a, I'm okay. I love food. I like ice cream, love pizza, hate broccoli. Where I can go to the other side of the spectrum and say, but I've already tried all that other stuff. I can't sustain it. I, it's something that I've, I've already done it. 
I've tried the diet pills. I've tried the, the, the weight loss programs from any, anything that you can think. I've tried the low carb, the no carb, the high carb, the low fat, no fat. I've tried it all. I'd lose a few pounds, be happy with myself, and then life's events happen. The next birthday, the next wedding, the next holiday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, pizza night, burrito night, any other night I can think of so I didn't have to eat properly. Life gets in the way. I couldn't sustain it. So I used that as my excuse to not continue to do the things that I knew I was supposed to do. So that question plagued me. Right then and there, I had to, I was faced with that choice. And it replays in my mind once again before I answer. If I want to take you out and celebrate and I want you to go to the beach with me, was it worth it? No. For the first time in my entire life, perhaps for the first time, I answered it honestly. And I said, no, it's not worth it. Because in my mind, I had this thought process of if I'm able to run 26 miles, then I'm going to get the results that I want from not having to put in the work and not having to eat properly. I'm going to exude the, the energy that I need to get to be able to look the way that I really truly want to look. So I answered that question and I don't think he even knew that that would haunt me for days. For a full month and a half, it would, it would haunt me every single day. I, I, not a night goes by and I would not think of that question. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? So January 10th, 2015 is when I made a life choice and I joined the Fitness VT team. And when I say joined Fitness VT, I'm not talking about I signed up for a program and hopefully this one will work. When I signed up, I made a choice. I made a choice that I knew that I was going to face adversity. I knew there was going to be people in my life that would not like to see me succeed. They want to see me fail. I knew that I was going to come against adversity and it would come from all angles. It would come from the, the ones that say they love you the most. Your friends, your family, all angles. So I knew that I had to piss a lot of people off to get what I needed to, to have done, to get where I needed to be for me. At one point in life, I had reached a maximum weight of 278 pounds. Quite possibly more than that, because at that point in life, I decided I wasn't going to weigh myself anymore. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get on a scale. I didn't want to know. So, being at 278 pounds, quite possibly more, I had a goal of, of being much less than that, but I didn't have a specific goal. I didn't know what I could reach. I never thought that I would be uh, any smaller in my waist circumference. I, I never thought that I could get to the body fat percentage level that I am now, because when I first got engaged way back when I was 278 pounds, 280 pounds, uh, my body fat percentage was like in the 30s. And slowly but surely, surely I would chip away at that stuff, but I, I never thought that I could reach the maximum results that I have. Because as of today, I'm sitting here at 12% body fat. 12% and I haven't engaged in a little while and I've been going strong and I see things in the mirror that, that I never thought that I would see. I mean, I actually have abs for the first time in my entire life. My waist circumference went from 42 inch waist and the stretchy ones because I didn't want to buy ones that were bigger than 42. To now, the 32s are getting a little loose and I'm proud of that one too. 
My shirt size has always been large, extra large, sometimes 2X depending on the year. And I never wanted to wear anything form fitting. But now, I'm wearing mediums. And I'm, I'm proud to wear the medium shirts because they do hug my body and I'm proud of what I see. And Fitness VT is the program that was my launch pad to get the goals that I've been aiming for for all these years. My question is, is it worth it for you? So what excuse are you using? Are you gonna use the excuse that, well, he didn't say the exact thing that I was thinking, so this probably ain't for me. Are you gonna sit back and are you gonna watch life go by and put yourself in a situation to where you don't like what you see in the mirror? Are you gonna be like I was and look at yourself grabbing fat rolls and squeezing and not believing the disgusting thing that you're looking at? Are you gonna do something about it? Are you gonna change the way that you've thought about life and your goals that you set for yourself? The choice is up to you. Have that moment in your life and ask yourself and be honest, is it worth it?